How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. So, have you guys ever wondered how you implement a newsletter sign up inside of a custom application? Well, that's exactly what we're going to see inside of this video tutorial series. So, right here we have a Django and React application and essentially this is how it works. So, I'm going to do a little overview in this video of exactly what we're going to be building. So here we see some kind of like header where we have get a free copy of our ebook because someone has to have a reason for why they're going to sign up to your um, email list. So in this case, it's going to be for an ebook and then it can be, um, there's many different ways you can do things. Also quizzes work very well. And then basically here we have a form where we pass in our first name, email, and then we have to also have said that we've read and agreed to the privacy policy and terms of service. So basically whenever you have a business and you have someone where they like, sign up to your email list and then are going to receive emails from your business essentially they have to agree to it so that's why you have to have this sort of thing legally and then also in this tutorial i just have like these things as bold text but these would actually like have to be links to some kind of actual privacy policy and some actual terms of service so anyway let's go ahead and see how this works now so you fill out a first name so i'll do john then you put in the email so here's my email and then basically in order to submit this I have to also agree to this so this is what's gonna happen when we go ahead and click this we're going to make an API request to our backend Django server and it's going to take this data first of all it's gonna see did this person actually agree because if they didn't then we're not gonna proceed so that's more like an edge case for if someone tries to do something like this through like say postman or something and then if it all works out then we're going to go ahead and use the first name and the email to sign them up to an email marketing platform so the email marketing platform that I'm going to be utilizing for this tutorial is called Active Campaign, And then essentially this is something that lets you do all kinds of things like manage different email lists, send out different campaigns, also have automations, all kinds of things. And then we're going to be communicating with the Active Campaign API in order to basically have this person added as a contact inside of Active Campaign. We're also going to add them to um, basically the master email list. We're also gonna add them to a particular email list just to keep things organized and kind of know like, okay, this person came from say like this funnel. Because when you do this sort of like email list stuff, you might have like multiple funnels and then maybe you have one funnel for where people basically gave you their email to get like a free ebook. Maybe you had another funnel which was for like some kind of like quiz that they went through. So it's kind of like a way to stay organized. So we're going to add this person to the master list. We're gonna add them to also that particular list, which is for like our free ebook. And then we're also gonna like attach a tag to the user just to kind of like keep track of like, okay, this person ended up going through this whole process on this funnel. So that's essentially what's gonna happen. So first we add them, we add a tag to this user, we add them to a list. And then after that, we're basically going to check, okay, so if this person got added to the list, then we're going to add them to an automation because essentially we have also an automation in place which checks whenever a person's added to a particular list, which in our example is gonna be for some kind of like free ebook um, email list, then we're going to add them to an automation. And then these automations with active campaign are very handy because you can do like so many different things. I can have like once this person's added to the automation, they receive an email immediately. Then like five minutes later, I can have like another particular email that they receive. And then like an hour later, they get like another one. A day later, they can get another one. Five days later, another one and so forth. You get the idea. You have like full creativity with how you want to do this. And it's fully automated, which is so awesome. If like in a day, you have like a thousand people sign up to your email list, let's say. It's like it would all be a completely automated process. You wouldn't have to like manually send like email sequences to like each of these people. So it's super, super powerful to have this sort of thing in place. So now enough talk about how this all works and let's go ahead and see it in action. So when I click this, I see like a loader here because basically um, this loader is going to be present while this whole like process of my Django um, server processing this request. Once that's over, then we're going to see like that loader go away and we see this button. And then ideally you'd want like some kind of alert that this actually worked, but I just wanted to keep things simple so we don't have any like alerts or anything. It's just that loader goes away. And essentially that loader is like the indication that this stuff's happening on the back end. All right, so now essentially after making that request, Django checked like, okay, they agreed to the privacy policy terms and conditions. So I ended up adding them as a contact inside of Active Campaign. I added the tag to them. I added them to the master list. I added them to the particular like free ebook list. And then with that, my automation ended up seeing, okay, this person was added to this list. So now we're gonna add them to this automation where 
basically they're going to enter this whole automation sequence where first they're going to receive an email where they're going to have like a link to a bunch of different stuff and then you can be like very creative you can have like literally a sequence of like five emails before they get like their link to their free ebook or something like i've seen stuff like that too so yeah basically you have full freedom with how you want to implement this and anyway now i'm just gonna go ahead and wait until we receive this email and then we're gonna kind of take a look at things and kind of see how they work all right and here we are i've now received my email so that's awesome so i've basically been added to the automation and then that automation sent this out so let's go ahead and click it and take a look at basically essentially how this is going to look all right so here we are we see like our subject line your free ebook action required and then here we have hey john so that's the first name that i inputted and then um so essentially you can make these like a little more personalized and then you can have like you can now go ahead and download this awesome free ebook and then you have like some steps so i just kind of wanted like an example of something that maybe looks a little bit more legit and something that you might actually send out with this sort of like process so we have like also say hi to me on facebook here i personally respond to every message i get so you can add them into like other areas then also click here to join our facebook community and then you can grab your ebook by clicking here so then you can have like a link where they go ahead and maybe go to like some kind of google drive page or something where they can download the ebook or maybe they go i don't know like wherever you end up posting this sort of thing and then it's like ps just a heads up that you will have some awesome value packed emails coming your way so i hope you're ready to learn for free from the value coming your way and from my ebook um how you can be super successful i think i didn't write this the best but anyway your friend brian dunn so this is essentially the kind of thing that you can like send out in an automation and then maybe like a day later they receive like something else and so forth so it's super super handy to have this sort of thing in place so anyway, if you guys want to see how to implement this sort of thing on a Django and React application, then that's what we're going to go ahead and start doing in our next video. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this little overview, then go ahead and leave this video a like, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit that notification bell to receive notifications whenever a new video comes out. Also, I have links in the description so you can like the Facebook page and you can send messages to me personally if you have any kind of questions on like web development, app development, or some kind of like question on a tutorial that I've created, then you can go ahead and leave me a message through there. Also, you can join the Facebook group. And anyways, that'll be everything for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next where we start to implement this application. So see you guys there.